Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Lane and welcome back to Madden 18. Today we are doing a realistic rebuild of the Washington Redskins. The reason we're doing the Redskins is because of Nicholas Salvati. He's one of my subscribers. He's been asking to see the Redskins for a while. I'll put it on the screen right here. And I decided we'll finally do it for you, Nicholas. So here it is. On this team, I mean, it's not that bad, at least in my opinion. Obviously, you have Kirk Cousins. He's in his final year of a contract. I don't know if we're going to bring him back or not. Depending on what our record is, he has a ton of XP, all that. I I'm not too intrigued on bringing him back, but I don't know if we have any other options. It would depend on our draft pick, all that. We have Robert Kelly. I believe it's Robert, right? Yeah, Robert Kelly. I mean, not a bad decision. I really like Thompson, though. I might. Well, I don't know why he's not... Why does that say 76 overall? Was that what he was at the beginning of the season, maybe? Let's read. Why isn't Thompson starting? That's weird. We have Ryan Grant. Not a bad number three. Uh, Jameson Crowder. I like him as a number one. I like Terrell Pryor. I, he didn't do good this season. He did great this season before for the Browns. He is our number, what, four receiver at that point. Then uh, what? I don't know jo uh, Doxson's name. Josh Doxson. Okay, I thought that's what it was, but I didn't want to sound wrong. Uh, we have Reed, obviously a tight end. He's a great guy, but he gets injured a lot. We did turn injuries off finally for my rebuild, so I finally know the truth. Superstar development, 27 years old. He'll be there here the rest of the way. Vernon Davis, not a bad tight end, but he's old, so in this, he's going to be regressing a lot. Our offensive line also doesn't look that bad. We have Williams, a 91 overall, 29, superstar development. Probably keep him, depending on how much XP he gets and all that. Uh, okay, we need a left guard. Obviously, how old is Long? Yeah, I guess we don't really need a center, but I like to build up my offensive line. Uh, Sheriff, I think that's how you say his name. Quick development, 25 years old, 9 development, so that's good. He's going to be sticking around. And then Mosses, uh, normal development, 26. Okay. So on our offense, if I was going to say right now, we could use a better wide receiver, maybe one or two, depending, and then put Crowder down. I don't know quite yet. Uh, running back, we don't really need to worry about. Quarterback, I want to look at, like I said. But obviously, we need a left guard, a center, and a right tackle. The other two guys, I'm good to go with them. So let's check out our defense. So our defense has a lot of work, at least in my opinion. I believe Josh Norman's up there in age, if I remember correctly. 29, superstar development, though. I, I don't know if he's going to be on his way out. I don't even know what his contract looks like. Let's see what that looks like real quick. I'm assuming he's going to be here for a while, so maybe we'll just keep him around. He'll, he's what? I forget what his overall was. Yeah, he's four years remaining, so he's going to be here for a while. I think he's like a 91 or something like that. Oh, 89. Okay. So he will start regressing a little bit with that superstar development, though. Maybe we can keep him up in the high 80s, keep him at a number one or a number two, something like that. I don't know too much about this defense, to be honest. Oh, 22. Superstar development. Really? I've never really heard anything about Jonathan Allen. Maybe that's just because of the right end. You don't really hear anything about the Redskins as well. Uh, but we're going to need a lot of work on defense. 23 years old, normal development, 81. That's not bad. I believe this is Kendall Fuller, uh, 22. Okay, so he's going to stick around too. Swearing Jerry, I heard a lot about him. 26 years old, 80 de uh, overall, 80 development. That makes no sense. Ryan Kerrigan, quick development, 29 years old, 89. Ugh. It's kind of up there in age, but I'll probably keep him around. Zach Brown's pretty old. Oh, no, he's only 27. Who was I thinking about then? I thought Zach Brown was like 30, 31, but I guess not. 89 overall, not bad. Is this Trent Murphy? Yeah, okay, 26. So our linebackers really aren't that bad. If they can get a good amount of XP, we can get Murphy up to the high 80s. We get Brown and Kerrigan into the 90s. That wouldn't be bad. And then obviously, we are going to need a free safety, I imagine, unless he has quick or something. Yeah, he doesn't. 21 years old, not too bad. So what we're going to do right now is sim to the midseason mark, see what our record is, scout some players, see who's going to be a free agent at the end of the year, all that. So I will see you in a sec. So at the midseason mark, we are 2-5. and five. I was expecting a little bit better than that. So I think that's actually going to be our way to get rid of Kirk Cousins because he's 2-5. and five, So we're not going to make the playoffs. Let's see who's going to be a free agent real quick. Uh, Zach Brown, definitely going to bring him back. Let's offer him $5 million for his efforts. What are we going to do? Nice offer. Just need to improve the bonus now. Okay. Kirk Cousins probably wants crazy money, I imagine. $10 million. I guess that's not crazy, but not bringing him back. Yeah, let's bring back Murphy. Let's see if he takes it. Okay, he's going to resign. Don't know how to say your name, but I'm going to try to bring you back as well. That's all you liked is the length, okay? Uh, Terrell Pryor, how about this? 2.5 for your efforts. Because we're going to lose Ryan. Yes, okay, good. I was going to say, we're going to lose Ryan Grant. So that's not bad. All right, no one else I really want to bring back. Let's go to scout the college players. I want to see what our pick is real quick. The seventh overall pick. Okay. Uh, let's see what we have for quarterbacks here. B plus, uh, A minus, not bad. Usually I don't bring you guys along for this, but since I want to find a quarterback, I actually want to see who you guys think is going to be the best quarterback of the bunch. I'm guessing the... Okay, so if I had to pick someone right now... Oh, God, I don't really like any of these guys. I guess this guy? Oh, he's going to go second round. Okay, I don't really like him. Jeez, this is a bad draft for quarterbacks. I do not like this whatsoever. What else do we need, though? We need offensive linemen, but I like to look at those in the offseason after free agency when you get your combine. 
So what I'm going to look at is this wide receiver right here. He looks like he's going to be all right. Left tackle we don't need. Let's look at these all these wide receivers. Let's add them to our draft board. Uh, strong safety we don't really need. I also don't need all these kind of wide. Wow, there is so many wide receivers. A cornerback we could definitely use. Right tackle we, we definitely do need, but I don't want to look at that right now. There's like nobody here. I guess I'll scout the center. Like, I don't really understand. Let's see what our XP is looking like before we sim to the playoffs. Anybody with just a crazy amount. Jo Jordan Reed has over 7,000. That's not bad. No one else on offense. Okay, so nothing's going on there. Defense, we have Allen with 11,000. All right. Uh, so 6,000 for Josh Norm is not bad, but no one's really getting all... Like Kerrigan has 5,000, I guess, but no one's really getting crazy numbers. So let's send to the playoffs. So we didn't make the playoffs. It looks like Russell Wilson won the MVP. Let's see what our record is, though. Uh, we are 4-11-1. Really? Okay. That should give us a good draft pick, but of course, there's no quarterback I want. Let's see how far down we are. I imagine we're near the end. Okay, so what is that? One, two, three, four, the fourth overall pick. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's check out the stats real quick. I'm debating whether we bring back Kirk Cousins for one season. Let's see. Wow, okay. 20 touchdowns to 20 interceptions over 4,000 yards. That's really, really bad. Robert Kelly over 1,000 yards, 5 touchdowns. Almost 400 yards, 12 touchdowns for Thomas. I guess that's not almost 400. Over 300 yards, four touch or 12 touchdowns. Uh, Jordan Reed, 1,000 yards, 5 touchdowns. Not bad. Doxon, 700 yards with a touchdown. Kreider, almost 1,000 yards with 4 touchdowns. Ryan Grant, 800 yards, 5 touchdowns. Not bad. Do we have Terrell Pryor here? 131 with a touchdown. Not bad. Let's look at the defense real quick before we check out awards and all that. Sacks, what do we got? Nine and a half for Kerrigan, not bad. Six for Murphy, five and a half for Allen, five for Taylor, three and a half for Lundinius. I don't know how to say his name. I'm sorry. Uh, interceptions, five for Swearinger, uh, four for Fuller, two for Kerrigan, two for Dunbar, two for Norman. Really not good for Norman. Then again, you could argue that they don't get thrown at, blah, blah, blah. No safeties. We definitely have a defensive touchdown by Nicholson. I don't know who that is. Let's see if we have any awards up here. We don't generally get into these award discussions unless we have like a rookie of the year or something like that. Russell Wilson, like I said, MVP. Uh, no one else is really there that's out of the ordinary. I guess you could argue Mariota, but so be it. Dan Quinn with the coach of the year. What are we? We are the Redskins, so we're in the NFC. Anybody? Nope. Defensive player of the year, do we have anybody? Really? We don't even have like, uh, what the hell is his name? I can watch. Zach Brown, that's who I'm trying to think of. Offensive rookie of the year, do we have any? Who won it? Trubisky, sure. Uh, we do not have anybody up here, which is a shame. Okay, defensive rookie of the year. Do we have anybody? We have Allen. Really? He's a rookie and he has superstar development? He I, I'm using active roster, so he must have done so crazy this year that that's why I've never heard of him too. That makes sense. Okay. Things are starting to piece together here. So let's go to free agency. Sue's going to be a free agent. Actually, we have to look if we're going to re-sign Cousins first. I can't imagine I want to because mostly... He's going to want crazy money for one. He's really not that good as you just saw. He threw 20 touchdowns with 20 interceptions. If you saw my past two rebuilds, I had, what, uh, Cam Newton and Jameis Winston. They were both average like him, and then they just pretty much dragged my team down. So I don't know how much I really want to bring him back. I'm also interested to see who won the Super Bowl. If he wants, like, a one-year contract, maybe I'll bring him back just for the carryover. But I, I don't know. I really... I, I shouldn't so we could just tank for another year, but it's kind of... Oh, yeah, we have to bring back Zach Brown, too. He's age 30, though. I really don't want to do that. Let's give him 5'5". Five, five. We have 73 million in caps room. You're going to test out free agency? Really? Don't think you're going to. I'll bring him back with a franchise tag. What does Kirk Cousins want? Three years? Yeah, I can't do that. I really, really can't. Let's see if he'll take 2'5". You want to test out free agency? Two? Really? Ryan Grant? No, 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 no. Okay, no one else I want to bring back. Who won the uh, Super Bowl, actually? Let's find that out. Schedule... League schedule. Let's go to the Super Duper Bowl. Uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers beat the Philadelphia Eagles. Sure they did. They Steelers couldn't even beat the Jaguars. But yeah, they're going to beat the Eagles. Makes perfect sense. Let's go to free agency. I I wonder if we should just bring in like a, like a Teddy Bridgewater if he's there. Or just someone really young that we could just bring in for one year. I'm sure we could throw just money at a guy for a year just to be like a little carryover. Look, like Garrett Blunt's there. So what? Cousins must be deep down there. Yeah, he is. Okay. Uh, Drew Brees we could bring in, but I don't really want to do that. Green, no. Brayton, no. Collins, no. We don't really need a running back. Trey Burton, no. Uh, I guess we could have a number two tight end, but I don't really want to do that. Kirk Cousins is there. Yeah, there's no one I really want. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, no one there. Let's check out quarterbacks. Any cheap quarterbacks. Okay, we could bring in Bridgewater for a year. I don't think that'd be a terrible idea. What are we with? Bradford, no. He's almost... Yeah, he is 30. Okay. Even better. McCarron we could bring in. I don't know what his... 
he's normal development. I don't think anybody down here is going to be like a higher development. I want to bring you in for a year. So let's give you six million for a year. See if he'll take that. No one else is offering him anything. So I don't, I don't see why he wouldn't. Any wide receivers that I want to bring in? Brandon Marshall? No. Jordan Matthews wouldn't be that bad. But we have Doxon, we have Crowder, we have Terrell Pryor. Josh Gordon I actually like too. Uh, but he's slow development. I can't bring him in even though I really do want to. Uh, what is Jordan Matthews? He's normal, 26 years old. He's not bad. I'm going to try. What, does he have offers? Oh, he has offers. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not going to give him anything. I don't want any of the linemen. Maybe a free safety? Who's there? We have Nicholson. We could bring in McDougal. But he's probably going to want a lot of money. Gilchrist isn't that bad. Uh, but he's 29. So that would kind of be a... It wouldn't really be a point to that, I guess, is the best way to put that. Let's see if this guy will take four years. That doesn't even put him in the league. Okay. So I'm not really interested in any of these guys. So let's see if he accepts our offer. And then we're going to scout some players. What do we have? The fourth overall pick. We need a quarterback. I'm assuming we're going to get Teddy Bridgewater because no one else really wanted him for one. Okay. We got Bridgewater. So that's good to know. Let's see what we have for a pick. Fourth, right? Yeah, okay. So we really need to work on our offensive line. We don't need a left tackle. We need a left guard. So I like to scout the guys that are six or above, so I'm going to put him on my list. Anybody else down here six or above? No. We have a 5'9 or something? We do not. We need a center. That guy is good. This guy is good. He's good. A 5'7 isn't that bad, so I'll add him to the list just in case. No one else. Uh, then we needed a right tackle. A six right there. A 5'9 wouldn't be that bad. Nobody else down there. Usually you get someone further down the list that you're like, okay, I'll, I'll take a chance on him, see if he works out, but nothing really there. Ooh, he's a seven. Wow, he's not that fast. The possession receiver, though. Seven, five, seven, three. I'll look at the seven, four. We have another seven, three. I like this seven, five guy a lot. Is there anybody that's just like a crazy combine grade that shouldn't be this far down here? We have a seven, four guy that I'm going to take a chance on. Nothing. Okay, uh, what else do I really want to look at? I looked at all my linemen. Free safety we need. Let's look at this guy right here. Not bad. Uh, we probably shouldn't have scouted him all the way. And then we're not going to have enough scouting points. So what I'm going to do, scout some more players, and I will see you at the draft. So we have the fourth overall pick, and then back-to-back -back picks for the Browns. Okay, so let's pause the draft right there. Let's skip ahead. I have some sort of an idea who I want to take. Of course, all the wide receivers I wanted are gone. Really? I was going to take one of those wide receivers. Yeah, I definitely was. I'm not going to take this quarterback. A left end we could definitely use. I don't know if this would be a bad pick. I am going to see if someone's going to trade up or anything like that. But I just want to see what's on the board. None of those the the, the quarterbacks I really want to take. Because these B accuracy short, that means it's mid and long. And that's going to be a lot worse. So I'll just wait till next year on a quarterback. This wide receiver doesn't look that bad. But let's see what they're offering us for trades. I'm hoping we can get trade back like a pick or two, but also get something. Okay, we need a 2018. Okay, that's what I'm looking at right there. He's offering me 2018. Is there anything just a little bit sooner for 2018? We could trade back into the second round, get a first next year, then two this year. That wouldn't be bad. Uh, we could trade back a little bit, get a second. I like trading back here, but that's to the 30th, so I don't want to do that. Ooh, that's, a, that's probably a number one overall pick next year. Two this year. Okay. What I really like is this one right here. We get a 19 next year and then two picks this uh, this year. So that would be three this year. So what else are we looking at? The only team offering us a first for two for this year and next year. The Raiders, the Rams aren't. The 18th isn't that bad, honestly. Then we get a 17th. Okay, I'm going to look at that one. I don't like this one whatsoever. Because we can trade back to the 18th. Probably get one of our guys. Get a pick for next year. So let's see. Let's go to our draft board. If we were going to have a pick in the mid-first round, who could we get? We could probably get the center who looks like he's going to be good. We could definitely get this left. Ooh, he looks like he's going to be good. I don't want to risk it on him, though, so I think we're actually going to do that Raiders trade. Because then we could probably get one of these centers later in the draft, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, what else? I, there's really no one I want to take. That, like, If I miss out, I'm going to be too upset. So, yeah, let's take that Raiders trade. I'm going to trade to the 18th pick. One of those guys has to be there realistically. We get a first next year and then a seventh this year. Okay, let's take that offer right here. Then let's skip ahead. I actually do. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, our guy did not get taken. So we should be able to take him right here right now. I think he's going to be quick development or superstar development. The left guard, right? That's who we wanted. We need a left guard? Yes, we do. All right, let's take him, see what he's going to be. Normal development, 79 overall, though, so that's not too, too bad. He should get a ton of XP, you would have to assume. So let's skip ahead in the draft. 
we have another pick, obviously. Because what we got a seventh, if I remember correctly. Okay, yeah. So we have a bunch of fourths and then that seventh round pick. Now, if we're going to pick somebody here, it would be the center. But we also have that center in the fifth round. What else do we have down here? We do not have much of anything for our offensive line. So this draft is kind of so-so, I guess, is the best way to put it. So let's see if we can maybe trade for another first round pick because since this is such an early second round pick people are going to offer us stuff yeah so we have a 19 and a seventh so a first for the seventh that's not bad a fourth first and a fifth for no let's see who's giving us the best package two three and a six that's not bad i definitely want a first so who has the best one the 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 Bengals. yeah because we really need a fourth that we don't really like this draft so yeah let's trade it to the Bengals. now we're not gonna have a pick to the third round we could probably get that center that we wanted though we might even get the center that I was going to pick. What are we looking at? Draft board. Okay, that center is here. It says fifth round. I don't know if we want to push it to the fourth round. I've heard from people who have been commenting on my videos. It's kind of it's a bad decision to risk going to a next round. So I think I'm going to take this free safety. Maybe we'll take him next round. That center hopefully will be the 72 overall. Not a great pick right there, honestly. Let's skip ahead in the draft. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully our center is here. Because we definitely need another center, obviously. So let's go to the draft board. He is still there. I'm not risking it any further. It says early fifth round. So I'm going to take it right now. Normal development, 75 overall. Not the best pick. I was assuming one of these guys was going to be like quick development, superstar development, something along those lines. But obviously, as you just saw, they weren't. So let's look at our draft board again. Uh, we have a good right outside linebacker that I really liked when I was scouting. We also have this guy. He's going in the seventh round, though. So I'm not too concerned. Uh, I want to get this wide receiver. What do we have for picks? Fifth, sixth, and then two sevenths. So we could take a risk on one of these two guys and just see how he pans out. I like this one more than the other one, though. So what I think I'm going to do is take this defensive tackle. I didn't get to scout him all the way, but I like what he looks like. So let's see. Normal development, 67 overall. Ugh, that's not a good draft. This draft is not panning out the way I thought it was going to. Hopefully next year will have to be our year because obviously we don't even really have a quarterback now. I'm kind of wanting to – like, I don't want to tank, but that's kind of like the plan at least. So let's take this right outside linebacker right here see what he is. Nolan development 70 overall. Not that great either. That's kind of a shame. Okay, we have two seventh-round picks now. Let's go with draft board. Ugh, our guy is gone. Yikes, 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 yikes. I want to get this guy. I know it says undrafted, but I'm going to take a risk on him. This really... I know you guys are probably saying this. Not a great draft. Let's just see if we can trade this last pick away. We can get a fourth. Is anybody going to give us better than a fourth? Why would I trade? Like, oh, I'll give you a seventh. Oh, the seventh this year. Okay, I get what you're saying. Uh, let's just take the Bengals. We're hoping the Bengals somewhat tank anyways. So that'll work out there. So what I'm going to do now is scout my player, Or not scout my players. Upgrade my players. I'll show you what I upgraded them to. And I will see you in one sec. So I upgraded all my players. There's nothing really to talk about here. No one had a big jump or anything like that. Our offensive line's not looking too, too bad. We're going to need our rookie left guard and center to really perform this year. We have an A- minus at our left tackle and A- minus at our right guard. So we should be good. But I imagine our team is going to somewhat tank this season. I have to imagine. With Teddy, uh, Teddy Bridgewater, he's not that great. So I'm hoping we don't win that many games. I'm just being honest. So let's sim to the midseason mark, and I will see you guys in one second. So at the midseason mark, we are three and four. How is that possible? How are we better than last year without Kirk Cousins? I don't understand. Uh, Zach Brown, like last year, I definitely want to bring him back. Let's see if we'll take five million. He wouldn't last year. He wouldn't this year. Okay, I had to read that just to double check that he wouldn't take it. Let's see if we can bring back Shreff. Definitely want to bring it back 26 years old. Okay, we got the deal done. That's good. Crowder, obviously want to bring back 4.6. Go, oh, he only likes the length, okay? Uh, Robert Kelly, I got to bring him back. Even though he has normal development, but just the running back, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, he's re-signed. Preston Smith, I mean, he's a backup, so I'm not too worried about it. Teddy Bridgewater, I'm not worried about it. All right, that's good for now. So let's see what we are looking at for scouting. I need to see what the Bengals and the Raiders are doing, actually. We have the 8th, 16th, and the 28th pick. Okay, let's see what the quarterbacks are looking like. A throw power, B accuracy short. Okay, that's good. I'm probably going to try to make a trade so we can get up to that first pick. We can trade some of my draft picks, get up there. That's realistic. I don't care what you guys say. It totally is realistic. It just happened. This is Saturday after the draft. Just happened yesterday, or Thursday, rather. So, it's realistic. You ain't going to tell me otherwise. We need, uh, what do we need, though? A right tackle, we need a defensive tackle, a left end. I mean, we could take this right end moving over. I'm going to try to trade up like I said, though. 
free safety we need. Okay, I'm going to scout some of these players and I'll show you who I scouted. So I scouted just a bunch of different positions. This team is so weird where I have good players, good young players at a lot of positions. We need a quarterback. We don't really, I mean, we could use wide receivers, but we don't really need them. Our offensive line's somewhat set. Our defense isn't that bad. We could use a free safety. I drafted one last year. I'm hoping he progresses a little bit. A defensive tackle, a left end. There wasn't much to look at. These are all the players I looked at. If I had to pick someone right now, he's not even here. Let's go to available, available, available. There we go. QB. I want this guy right here. Bo Schiller. He is going to be our quarterback. Guaranteed. I am going to get him. All right. So let's go to the playoffs. Hopefully we can tank a little bit more. That's all I'm asking. Just a little bit more. And I'll see you in a second. So we didn't make the playoffs. That's what I was expecting, though. We went 5-11. and 11. Hmm, That's going to be like middle of the pack, I'd assume. Who else do we have? Raiders and the Bengals. So let's see what we're looking at here. Raiders. Where are you, Raiders? There's Raiders, 7-9. and nine. Okay. Did I go by the Bengals? Oh, the Bengals have the number two pick. Now, this is going to be tough. Wow. Okay. I don't know if we're going to be able to... Are we able to get them? That's so... I might have to trade up just so that one pick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. Actually, who's... I didn't see who the worst team was. It depends if they have a quarterback. Uh, Bridgewater, 4,000 yards, 30 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. He actually didn't do that bad. I don't want to keep him. I'm still going to draft the quarterback, but he didn't do that bad. Uh, Robert Kelly, over 1,000 yards, 5 touchdowns. Thompson, almost 500 yards, 8 touchdowns. Not too bad. Uh, receiving Crowder, almost 1,000 yards, 6 touchdowns. Reed, over 1,000 yards, 7 touchdowns. Doxson, 600 yards, 5 touchdowns. Terrell Pryor, 800 yards, 4 touchdowns. Okay. That's not bad. I'm just saying. Really not that bad. Uh, let's look at the sack total. 6.5 for Allen, 4 for Kerrigan, 3 for Brown, 2 for Murphy, 2 for Hood. Don't know who Hood is. Uh, four for Norman. There he is. He's back. Three for Brown. Two for Kerrigan. Two for Foster. Two for Dunbar. Do we have any safeties? Do we have any defensive touchdowns? That's not the right one. We have a defensive touchdown. Josh Norman with the defensive touchdown. Nice. Let's see if any of our guys are in the yearly awards. Tom Brady with that MVP. Okay. Tate Coleman. That must have been one of the quarterbacks that got taken. Okay. Blake Bortles is up there. Sure. Coach of the year. Doug Marone. 13 and three. Sure. Once again. Uh, do we have anybody in here? We do not. Any defensive player of the years? Oh, we got Zach Browns in the top five. Not bad. Okay. Making some moves. Offensive rookie of the year. We do not have anybody. There's that. The quarterback, I have to assume. Uh, we do not have. Oh, no, we do. Russell. That was the wide receiver we took in the seventh round. That's good. He must have a decent amount of XP, you have to imagine. Uh, any of our guys here? No. So let's see what our XP is looking like. Oop, let's go that way. Uh, we have 10,000 for Ridgewater, which isn't that bad. We could, in theory, re-sign him and trade him, maybe? Oh, there we go. 12,000 for one of our rookies. 11,000 for our other rookie. Good, good, good. 10,000 for him. 15,000 for Reed. Not bad. 11,000 for Pryor. 10,000 for Crowder. Okay. Uh, who did I want to look at? Oh, I want to look at our wide receiver that we had. Where is he? There's Russell. Where does he have? 4,000. Not bad. He's like our fourth string, fifth string, something like that. Uh, 13,000 for Kerrigan, 13,000 for Brown, 10,000 for Murphy, 13,000 for Norman, 10,000 for Allen. Okay. All right. That's not bad. I like what we got going right here. So let's go to the offseason, see what we can do. So who won the Super Bowl? Let's find that out first. I imagine Eagles, Cowboy, Cowboys, Eagles or the Steelers or the Patriots, something along those lines. The Rams beat the Jaguars 36-28. That would be a Super Bowl I don't want to watch. I do not want to watch Blake Bortles in the Super Bowl. No way, no how. So let's bring back Zach Brown. You ha you got to come back, man. I'll give you 5-5 five five again, or I'm going to have to franchise tag you. You would like to play for a new team. Well, about that. That's that's not really going to happen, so welcome back. I know you didn't want to be here, so those are the best kind of players to have on your team. Okay, Crowder's on his way out. That's good to know. Teddy Bridgewater, man. I want to bring you back for a year. You'd like to play for a new team next year. I don't blame you, really. Uh, no one else I really want to bring back. So let's go to free agency. We still got to debate trading up for that number one pick. I believe you could trade before the draft. So we're going to leave it for then, even though I probably should trade right now. So we have $48 million in cap space. We're going to get up here. Dude, Joe Thomas is still there. I'm not going to bring him in, obviously. Coleman, we could bring in 26 years old. But we got Robert Kelly. He's probably out of his mind. Jordy Nelson, he's 34 years old. I mean, is that a bad... He doesn't even have any offers. Okay. I'll give him two years for $5.6 if, if he'll take that, I'll definitely give it to him. Clinton Dix is here? Really? I'm going to give him $5 million. I want him to be my free safety. Absolutely. Quick development. Okay, that puts us in the lead for that. Crowder, I mean... I don't know really why he wants to leave. I'm going to give him the $4.6 million and see if that puts us in the lead. Oh, it does. So I'm going to give you less money since you're an asshole. How was I... 
How's 3-5 feel? Ooh, that's not, not enough, so I'm going to give you four. Four years, four million. Okay, that's what you're worth. Duke Johnson's there. That's not bad. Um, What do we got for quarterbacks? Alex Smith, Nick Foles. We don't have any quarterbacks. We've got to bring one of these guys in. I'm going to bring back Teddy Bridgewater for another year. I'll give him five million just because he played pretty good last year. So if we can't get this quarterback we want, then worst comes the worst. we got Teddy Bridgewater. Jordy Nelson, there's no one I really want here. Tight end, there's not, I mean, Delaney Walker is pretty old. Jesse James, no. Yeah, there's no one I really want here. So let's simulate the week, see if we get anybody. And then also, we're going to have to scout some players. I'm going to have to make a decision whether we trade up for that number two pick. Uh, we have enough capital to trade up for it, so I think we should be able to. Okay, we got Crowder, we got Bridgewater back, we got... We didn't get Clinton Dix, really. Uh, I need to figure out who has that number one overall. We have the second and the fifth. Uh, we need to figure out who has the number one overall pick. Who has the worst record in the league? Do you have the bat? I'm assuming it's the Browns, probably. Oh, it's the Cardinals. I don't know if they need a quarterback. We're going to have to look into that real quick before we do any sort of trading. Uh, there we go. Where are the good old Cardinals? No, you're not going to... They don't have any quarterbacks? Is that what I'm... Okay, I was... No, 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 no. They don't have any quarterbacks. All right, yeah. We are uh, definitely trading for this pick, and I'm going to do that right before the draft. So I'm going to scout some players, and I will see you in one second. The only way I'm going to be able to get the number one overall pick is, I believe, if I trade all my first-round picks, which is just crazy for a quarterback. Actually, let's see if we can do something. I know this might be a little unrealistic, but let's add Teddy Bridgewater. Let's give him the fifth and the twelfth, see if this will do the trick. Yes, okay, we got the number one overall pick. We have no quarterback. We have the number one and the number two overall pick. All right, I know that was a little unrealistic, but they probably would have done that trade when I gave them the five and the second and then a second round pick. They definitely would have done that too. No questions asked. So it's kind of a little cheap that they wouldn't accept that because like I said, definitely, definitely, definitely they would have done that. So let's do this right now. Let's make our selection. Let's get our quarterback. Where is our man? That, ooh, did he go up? Because wasn't he a... This is actually... He got better? Normal development, 80 overall. Okay, I like that a lot. Now, we have a number two overall pick, which I have put no thought into who I'm picking because I've been trying to f figure out how to get that guy. Uh, if I had to do something... Let's pause the draft, actually, real quick. I don't think there's anybody that want to trade up, I imagine. I mean, we could get a... Bolt. They have two picks this year? And then a fifth? We have our pick next year, so that's not bad. We could trade. We could get two. Ooh, okay. I'll do that. To have at it. I don't even know who I want to pick. I'll get a pick next year. Sure. Okay, there we go. I don't even know. Can we probably do that again if we realistically wanted to? Uh, anybody give me a one and a one? A one and a one? A one and a one? Nope. Okay, we're going to pick a guy right here, actually. I want to get one of those linemen. Two of them went. The left tackle we don't need. We can, we're going to have to move one of these, or unless we take this left end and then we'll keep him at left end. Um, I think we'll do that right now. What is he supposed to go? Early first round. Yeah, we'll definitely take him. Normal development, 83 overall. That is great right there. Okay. That's good, 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 good. I don't even know what we really have for picks in this draft. I was just mostly concerned about our first round picks. We have a fifth and a sixth, a fifth, second, fifth, 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 second, fifth. Okay. Um... I wouldn't mind taking this wide receiver, so that's what I'm going to do. Normal development, 78 overall. Oh, we have another pick right after that. I completely forgot about that, even though I said it legitimately like a few seconds ago. Uh, what do we have after this? A third? So should we take the right tackle right now, or do we have any other right tackles we're really looking at? We don't. So let's take Caldwell, see how he looks. Normal development, 74 overall. We needed a right tackle, though. With our third round pick, we're taking Deontay Merriman, 79 overall. Quick development. He is a free safety. We didn't get haha -ha Clinton Dix, which sucks, but we still got a good free safety to fill in the spot right there. What else do we have for picks? I don't really know what our draft board's looking like right now. Did the guy I want get taken? It said he was going to go undrafted. Well, in that case, I'm taking this guy right now. Normal development 666 overall. Yikes, 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 yikes. I can't believe I just did that, actually, to be completely honest with you. What do we got here? Third and a sixth, a fourth and a sixth. Uh, I want something for next year since there's no one else on my draft board. 
Uh, let's give it. We'll give it to the Bears. Why not? So we upgraded all my players. We got a B minus or above on our offensive line. That's great. A plus at Jordan Reed, obviously. We need our quarterback to play pretty well this year. Get a ton of XP. Get to the mid 80s. And then next year, I think, will be our year. But the rest of our positions are looking good on offense. I like pretty much what our offense looks like. We should be able to do pretty good this year. And even our defense. Look at this defense. We have a rookie of free safety, a rookie of left end. But other than that, B's. I guess our defensive tackles are kind of bad. I tried to draft two, but they didn't really amount to anything. Hopefully, they can do a little bit better this year. He's not a rookie. This one's the rookie, right? Oh, no, one year. Okay, so he's not the rookie. This is the guy I drafted last year. But we have A- minuses that are our are, are safe, are safeties. Our cornerbacks, our safeties are B- minus and a B. So I like how this season's going to go. So let's sim to the uh, midseason mark, and I will see you in a second. So what is our record at the midseason mark? We are four and four, so we're getting better year and year. Not much better. We went two and five to what three and four. And now we're four and four. I mean, really nothing to brag about. Let's see our quarterbacks. Ooh, seven thousand five hundred for XP. That's not bad. Let's see what our free nine thousand for our free safety, six thousand for our left end. All right. So we're gonna have to re-sign Zach Brown again. I imagine he doesn't want to be on this team, but I'm gonna try my hardest to give him four or five. How's that doing for you? Could I improve the bonus? Could you just you know leave me alone and just sign? That'd be cool. Really? You want a better bonus too? I don't give better bonuses, so just sign on the goddamn team. Thank you. I like you, Swearinger. Uh, Cravens, I mean, we don't really need them, but I'll give them two million as a backup. They're improving the bonus, of course. How would I think I'd get by without giving someone a better bonus? That's just silly of me. Yes, we got Doxon back. Finally, someone wants to play for my team. Uh, Terrell Pryor, not too worried about you. So what am I going to do now? We're going to have to scout some players. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's see really what we need. I don't even know what we need, honestly. I am intrigued to see what this quarterback looks like. Okay, my quarterback's definitely better. We need a better right tackle. Our left guard and our center are fine. Wide receivers, I guess we could use. Uh, other than that, a defensive tackle. Do I take a defensive tackle this early in the draft? Like, that's kind of weird. We have a fourth and a tenth. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. So we're going to have to take some wide receivers, I imagine. And then, like, a, a what did I say? A right tackle? Okay, what else do we really... A defensive tackle. I know I said that. Our cornerbacks are fine unless we don't get Ken Kendall Fuller back. Our linebackers are fine. Our linemen are fine. I don't really... I honestly don't know what to do. Do I kind of look at, like, a running back? What does this running back looks like? Okay, maybe. I don't, like, I don't know what makes a good running back. That's just really my problem. I'm, I'm good at knowing the other positions, but running back, I have honestly no idea. So what we're going to do now is sim to the playoffs. Hopefully we can make it for once. We really didn't make the playoffs? What is our record, though? 6-10, and ten, so we won two games the rest of the way. Are you kidding me? Let's see what our quarterback did. Over 4,000 yards, 25 touchdowns, 18 interceptions. Not the best, but he is just a rookie, so I'm going to let it pass. Hopefully we can upgrade him a little bit. Perrine with almost 1,000 yards, 6 touchdowns. Thompson, 400 yards, 4 touchdowns. Where's Kelly? What happened to Kelly? Why is he way down there? Uh, Jordan Reed, almost 1,000 yards, 4 touchdowns. Crowder, almost 1,000 yards, 8 touchdowns. Bullock, he was our rookie. 1,000 yards, 5 touchdowns. That's good. Doxon, 500 yards, 5 touchdowns. I'm intrigued to see. We must we must have a few guys in the top 10 for rookie of the year for both sides of the ball, you have to imagine. Uh, let's look at sacks. 11.5 for Allen, 9 for Murphy, 8 for Kerrigan, 7. That's our that's 6, our rookie. 2, that's nothing really right there. Three for Norman, one for Brown. We had four, five interceptions. I, I could count sometimes. Uh, safeties, we don't have any. We have a defensive touchdown by who? Dunbar, okay. Let's check out these awards. I'm intrigued. We must be up there somewhere. Brady with another MVP, all right. Uh, coach of the year? Nope, we don't get any consideration for that ever. Uh, do we have anybody in the top 10 for uh, offensive player of the year? We do not. Defensive player of the year. We have Zach Brown once again, who's still not on my team, but hopefully he'll be there. Bo Schiller with the uh, rookie of the year. That's good. Bullock in the top five. That's also good. Rookie of the year. Oh, come on. That's probably the picks they use to get that guy. I, I didn't even look at him, honestly. Essex in the top 10. Uh, we also have Merriman in the top 10. That's good. So we must have a ton of ton of XP. What are we looking at? 31,000 for Schiller. That's great. Eight, eight, eight. Ooh, God. I was expecting our offensive line to get a little bit more. Bullock with almost 9,000. That's not bad. Let's see what Merriman and Essex got. Essex with 11,000. Merriman with 17,000. Okay, so we should be able to upgrade these players and have a great, great final season. 
So let's go to the offseason, see who won the Super Bowl. We have to re-sign Zach Brown. I'm, I, he didn't want to sign, right? Probably not. Fuller didn't want to re-sign. We're definitely bringing him back. Guaranteed. There was one more. It was probably, did we, no, we, we did sign Crowder for one year, didn't we? Or did we get him for multi-year? I forget. Maybe it was Doxon. There was some other guy that wanted to leave. I don't remember who, though. Let's see who won the Super Bowl. My pick is going to be the Steelers or maybe the Rams. Pick one of each. Maybe they'll play against each other. I don't really know. I'm just hoping that we can actually make it there. LeGarrette Blunt fights rumors that he has lost a step he gets older. But that's what happens when... Like, what? That's what happens. When you get older, you lose a step. Uh, Super Bowl. The Patriots beat the Saints. Like, how could I just pass up on my Patriots? Feels sick to my stomach. All right. Let's see. Zach Brown. Do we have to come here every year and do this every year? You wanted more money here. You wanted more money here. I just gave you both. Thank you. Thank you for just staying with my goddamn team. How about $8 million for you for the effort? You want to play for a new team? Well, let me, uh, let me throw something at you. That's not happening. Cravens, I'm not worried about. Uh, it must have been Cravens, right? It had to have been. See, so, yeah, I'm not worried about that right there. So, let's go to free agency. See if we can get somebody good. I don't think we have that much space, I remember. What was it, like $30 million? I mean, that's enough space, but it's not like a, a crazy number or anything like that. Oh, no. We only have $17 million. Really? Tyreek Hill, not bad. Huh. Do I bring in Tyreek Hill? That's a lot of money. I'm going to see if he'll take $10 million. That might be way too much. It is way too much. So I'm going to give him... I'm going to give him 9 That should do the trick, I would have to imagine. We don't need a middle linebacker. Strong safety we could use. But we have Swearinger. But, uh, 96 points, though. That's so much. Murphy's, let's see, so-so, but do we want to sign one of these guys just to fill in a spot? A lot of these guys just want so much that it would just be crazy to do that. Uh, cornerback, we have Josh Norman, we have Kyle Fuller, but I will offer... Yeah, I'm not giving you that much money, Akeem Tlaib. You're out of your mind. $20 million, that's what you're worth. Let's give him $1.2 million. You're going you're gonna to sign for that. You, you know you're going to. Just, just come on back. Join the team. Stop wasting my time. All right. So I'm going to actually scout the players, and I will see you in one second of the draft. Tyreek Hill did not sign. Are you kidding me? We need a wide receiver. Edelman's there. He's uh, pretty old, though. Not going to lie. Oh, man. I can't believe Tyreek Hill did not sign. We got to keep Tlaib, though. So I'm going to scout the players, like I said, and I will see you at the draft. Here we are at the NFL draft, and we're going to have to make this one count. This will be our final season, so we're making selections. We're not trading away. Nothing like that. So what I wanted to do... Ooh, that defensive tackle fell real hard right there. I was going to take him, too. But what else? I looked at a bunch of defensive tackles. That's what we need, honestly. Look, look at this. We have Beezer above our middle linebacker. I guess we could use a middle linebacker, but we have Zach Brown, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, who was I going to pick? Who was I going to pick? I mean, do we need a running back? No. Should we pick one? Probably. Uh, man, oh man, oh man. What do we got? A red zone threat. We could use that mid first rounder. I mean, I guess we're kind of there. What do you got? Special catch, A minus, catching traffic, catching. Okay, so he's a better player. So I'm going to pick him right now. Normal development, 83 overall. Wow. I didn't think he was going to be that high. Okay, we're going to make another selection, obviously. Uh, I mean, we could just go with the other guy. Uh, what else do we really want to get? No. I mean, he probably isn't that bad. He's, he's pretty fast, balanced, late first round of those, so maybe we can get him later. Uh, can I look at my draft board, actually? This defensive tackle I'm definitely getting. What do we have for picks? A second, a bunch of thirds. All right, yeah. Ooh, this guy. When is he going? Ooh, I like this guy a lot, too. Late first rounder. Who did I... I liked one of the... Uh, where's the fast guy I liked? Was it him? Oh, it was him. Yeah, I'm taking Lewis Armstrong. Ooh, slow development, but he's 80 overall. Yikes. Since this is the last year, I'm probably just going to pick every guy I like. Just put him on my team. Hope for the best. Let's look at our draft board. There was the defensive tackles in the third round. So I'm probably going to take him this round, but not yet. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, this guy fell. So, yeah, we'll take this guy. Let's see. Let's see how he is. Slow development, too. Really? We are taking our defensive tackle now. I'm not risking it any further. Quick development, 79 overall. Good, 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 good. Let's see what else we have for picks. A ninth overall pick in the third round. Uh, we're taking a running back because we need one. No development, 74 of all. Another swearing jerk. We get the brothers. I doubt they're really brothers, but we got the brothers. Uh, what else do we got? What else do we got? Fullback. We need a fullback. Just saying. We need one. 
Uh, do we, we didn't get a right tackle. Oh, yeah, there was no one there that I really wanted. Jeff, <laughs> taking a fullback. Normal development, 76 overall. I'm honestly just making sure that we get all our guys on the team. So, let's get a right guard right here. What do we got? Normal development, come on. I'm hoping just one of these guys is just a superstar development. Just more picks. Just keep picking them. Hope for the best. We need, we need backups and stuff, you know? Uh, let's go. I like these guys, too. What do... Uh, it doesn't say what he was supposed to go. I wish... Oh, undrafted. That's what it says he's supposed to go. Okay. Uh, let's go right about here. Why not? Normal development. Come on. Just be a goddamn quick development or superstar development or something. Anything. That's all I ask for. Uh, let's go with the center because why not? Quick development. 75 overall. Even though I think our center is a little bit better than that. I don't know how much your, your offensive line backups really matter. I've never actually known if they switch in, switch out, do all that kind of stuff. Let's go here. No development. Come on. How is it possible that all these guys, just one of them is just not like a quick development. I guess one of them was the center, but like how two of them not? We're going with this wide receiver. Superstar development, 76 overall. There we go. Finally, we only took us six rounds, but we got one. What else are we looking at? Let's take this left guard just because no development. Really? How is that possible that all these picks are just swings and misses? We have one more guy on our draft board, and we are going to take him right here, right now. No development. Great. So I upgraded all my players. We got our rookie quarterback. I guess he's in the second year now. Up to an 86 overall, so that is great. Our team is looking very, very good. Our right tackle could be a little bit better, at least in my opinion. But he's, I, we're going to have to get over it because we have an A-, minus, B-, minus, B+, plus, B+. Plus. I think we're going to have a good season this year. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. We got our rookie left end up to 85. We got our free safety up to an 85. I'm not sure why he's down in negative two for his confidence. Doesn't really make sense. But we have some good full. Oh, wow. Norman's our number three now? Okay. All right. I like what we got going here, though. So let's sim to the midseason mark. See how we're doing. So at the midseason mark. Okay. It's not here. Even better. We are one in six. What? How is that possible? That literally makes no sense. What did we do wrong? 18 passing touchdowns, 10 interceptions, okay. Our running game looks good. Our passing game looks great. What? What? I don't even know what to say. We lost by six to the Steelers. I just want to see my team schedule, see how badly we're getting beaten. Uh, regular season. Lost by two, lost by 14, lost by a touchdown, lost by 20. Really? All right. So I'm going to sim to that good old playoffs. See if we make it, which I doubt it. So we didn't make the playoffs. That's what I expected. But what was our record? Four and 12. How do we get worse than our last year? Like really, really what happened? I don't understand. He had over 4,000 yards, 35 touchdowns, 19 interceptions. So almost a two to one touchdown interception. That's good. Robert Kelly over 1,000 yards, 3 touchdowns. Perrine, 400 yards, 6 touchdowns. Okay, I don't understand what happened there. Jordan Reed over 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns. Our rookie, oh, that is our rookie, right? Yeah, almost 800 yards, 3 touchdowns. Doxon, almost 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns. Crowder, 800 yards, 6 touchdowns. Don't really understand what happened. Bullock didn't even get on the field? Really? Let's see what the sacks are looking like. 13 for Allen, 9.5 for Essex, 8 for Murphy, 4 for Adams, 2 and a, like... I don't know what went wrong. Two for Kerrigan, two for Brown, two for Merriman, two for Tlaib. Let's see what our safeties. We got any safeties? No, we got a defensive touchdown, though. What do we got? Akeem Tlaib with a defensive touchdown awards. See, I thought we were definitely going to do, like, at least make the playoffs this year. This guy is a, a no name, okay? Gurley, Fournette, Brissett, Shore, Bortles, Coach of the Year. I knew we weren't going to be there, obviously. Uh, offensive Player of the Year, do we have anybody? We don't even have anybody in the Offensive Player of the Year. Defensive Player of the Year. We must have someone. Nope. Offensive Rookie of the Year. We have Moy. Okay. We have Armstrong. All right. Still, you know, it's not really good. We have Adams in the top five. Just, I don't really know what went wrong. It looked like our defense played pretty good. It looked like our offensive played pretty good. Did we just have a bad schedule? I know. I don't know. That's not what I wanted to look at. I know I looked at the beginning half of the season, but let's uh, let's go to the regular season. Uh, what do we look at the Steelers? So we lost to the uh, the Ravens by 14. We beat the 49ers. Lost to the Browns by almost 30. Lost to the Panthers by 5. Lost to the Eagles by 3. We lost a lot of close games. 
I feel like I got screwed, but that is going to be it for this video. If you like the video, give it a like down below. Let me know now who else in the comments down below you want to see me rebuild. I think this is like my 17th or 18th rebuild already. So we kind of have a smaller selection. So if you want to see who I haven't done, check out my other rebuilds. I do a new rebuild every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern. So if you guys like those, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified when all my videos go live. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.